of you knows the game Ludo or Mens Ergie niet? Please raise your hand. Perfect. You are all familiar with our educational system. <laughs> the red cones are VWO students. They are ditching the others. The yellow ones are HAVO. The green are MAVO. And we don't even talk about the blue ones because they are school dropouts. The path of this game is the path that I need to follow to success. I'm Lisanne Vriens. I'm one of the Red Combs, a bilingual student, the brains of our society, with a picture-perfect life. At least, that's what they say. I'm bored in school since I can't learn the way I want to learn. I need to study subjects that I'm not interested in, but still, these subjects will decide whether I'm able to pass my high school. And you, we've all done this path. It's called our school career. So we all started as a blank page. You can color it totally, but really quick, you will learn to draw inside the lines. You still are that blank page, but our school system colors it for us. Constantly, our thoughts are narrowed to certain fields, and by the time we are 12, we don't know what to draw on a blank piece of paper. You are all brain dead. Really? We did a test with adults and we asked them to draw something in 10 seconds. Nobody managed. Why? Easy. It took them too long to figure out what they wanted to draw. So adults, I'm sorry, you're all brain dead. And then when I give this piece of paper to a toddler, he knows exactly what he wants to draw. This drawing will be finished in five seconds. And that creativity that that little kid has is something that we need to stimulate. <laughs> and we need to stimulate that to get further on. Because as I said, if we don't stimulate the brains of these young kids, which we can need like clay, and give them all different shapes, if we don't do that, by the time they are 12, their brains will be a brick. Straight lines and one determined path to success. Is that what we want? And then we don't need to tell our children what to become later on. Because life is supposed to be a journey with sidetracks, bends and disorders. But now it's just a paved path that I need to walk on till my success. So, what do we need to change? We'll need to give more power to the youth. Let them decide what to become later on. Instead of telling them that they're thinking wrong or that they need to do what you want them to do. So, how to get there? How about scrapping our central exams and tests and CETO scores? Or just reform them in a way that everybody who is thinking in different ways can give them good answers and everybody will be stimulated to get their personal success. Isn't that what we want? And then we have something in our school system which I will, would like to call upgrade education. A student is more than the test paper and the grade. We're going from 2D to 4D. The 2D test paper will be replaced by 4D models. So if I don't like to learn the way I want to learn, the way I need to learn actually, then I'll make a magazine or a movie to show what I've learned to my teacher. Wouldn't that be more fun? 
And no, it's not only good for the students, it's also good for the teachers. Because teachers can see their students blossom and can see their, children, their students' creativity. Wouldn't that be so much more fun that you as teachers can like, show the students that they can do things instead of things that they can't do? So, for example, during math class, in the book we only learn one way to solve a problem. You can do it in as many ways as you can. Just believe in it. And as teachers, stimulate it so that we can create a creative new generation. And then I see this daily in my school, the teachers that are trying to do that. For example, a teacher of mine is here, Volkan Tastan. Can you raise? I don't know where you are. If he's here. Hi. You're an awesome teacher. So, thank you for all the lessons and thank you for giving children space to develop themselves and don't give that many restrictions to an assignment. Because we can think for ourselves, really. So, in first sight, when we let students decide their own educational path, it's going to be chaos, right? Everybody is doing what they like but there will be a structure. And that structure will be this, my little board. There isn't something like a paved path. It doesn't exist in my vision. We have arrows that structure it, but that are your side tracks, bends and disorders. So I don't need to follow the normal path to my personal success. I can take a side track. I can wait a minute and pause or do something extra so I can develop myself in the way that I want it. Because, you know, life should be a journey with bent sidetracks and disorders and not this paved path that I'm walking on. Thank you. <laughs> so... Yeah. I think there's one, there's one more request. There, yeah, there's one more if request. If you would please indulge uh, Lizanne, one more request. Everybody race, stand up. <laughs> I'm 16, I'm on social media, and I would like to take selfie with this perfect audience. <laughs> Smile. Yeah. Thank you.